long ago in a distant land, I played a game called Lamulana. I'm the Blues 32, and this is the sequel, Lamulana 2. Yes, I do wish to have, create some data, please. I would like to be able to s both play and save this game. Now, honestly, I've seen a couple of playthroughs of this, but for some reason it hasn't really stuck in my mind like uh, the original one did. So I have very little idea what I'm doing. Which is unfortunate, given how complicated the first game was. Lumisa Kusigi Mulbrook Ow Lameza Kusigi Sean Kusigi I liked it better when his name was Sean Elder Zelpud Many familiar faces. In fact, uh, only Lumisa there is a new face so far. The Zero Body, the Ninth Spirit. I don't know what that means. How bad could my would my computer need to be for the quality of this to be poor? You know? I mean, you've seen what Lama Lada looks like. It's not exactly a strain on the graphics engine. Oh, this could be bad. Mm -hmm. 
Why isn't the select button available? I cannot believe how badly this is going. Oh yeah, now it's all lovely, isn't it? You made it. I'm Zelpid, elder of the Tor this village of Lamulana Ruins. We finally went to turn Lamulana Ruins into a tour spot, and now we've been getting reports of unknown monster sightings, so I sent a letter to your dad, the archaeologist, asking him to come investigate. So how come he sent his daughter? Can't get a hold of your dad? So you break into archaeology and immediately surpass your dad, huh? What a weird family. I don't know why he's suddenly southern. Anyway, the request was for finding out just what is going on in the Lama Lama Ruins and then taking care of whatever the problem is. Well, if you can handle it yourself, it's fine with me. You must have completed your dad's needed training by now, right? Apparently, the monsters have been coming out from the depths of the ruins. With all this danger, nobody's gonna want to come around here anymore and we're gonna lose all our business. Figure out the cause and make sure those monsters never come out again. But with my being such a gentleman and all, I'm gonna do you a favor and help a cute little girl out. Let me that tablet real quick. In my very own homegrown messaging software, I'll send you helpful hints and stuff to help you out with your investigation. When you hear that funky little little beat notification, just hit the pause button and check out the tablet. You can thank me later. No, I don't. Oh, really? Yes, really. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It's me. Good morning, Viet. Lama Lana. You'll get messages me from me messages from me here like this. I can see where you are using your tablet. Tell the camera. I'm a key to the ABCs of adventuring, and I'm such a gentleman. Try wandering around above ground a bit before entering the ruins. It'll be good practice. Don't leave me hanging. Read your messages. <laughs> hey there! You investigating the ruins? Mm -hmm. If so, you're definitely going to need a handy scanner for taking spallet. Towels, have you bought one yet? Nope. Hey, dick nuts! I said you're gonna need that thing, didn't I? So buy that shit! You want me to get weird on your ass? No, ma'am. I, I prefer you didn't get weird on my ass. <laughs> Already out shopping, huh? You can use some of the items by equipping them and pressing the item button. There's more out there than the run mill hand scanner. The ruins hold key treasures, weird items you gotta put someplace, all kinds of stuff. Bring them to me, I'll tell you what they are. If I can, that is. Under the ruins, won't you need a map? I'd like one, yes. Here you go. You can't use the map by yourself, though. Don't forget to buy a map app at my shop over by the hot springs. You're scary. Buckler. A pistol and ammunition. I don't want a buckler. Though I think I might actually need it. That pimped out looking stone tablet there, that's called a holy grail and it can hold memories. What that means is you can save by pressing the up button in front of the tablet. You better make sure to read what's written there too. Come on, promise an old man. How did... but you were just... bought the map app from Nebber yet? The app is used to manage your maps, but you gotta collect the maps yourself. That's the way they're here to site. Load apps from the menu screen on your tablet. I've already loaded the software for you to read my messages. Make sure you keep my app loaded at all times, okay? Mm This is known as the Holy Grail. It has been in this village for generations. Examine it, whatever that means, and it will bring up your mem bring back your memories of this place. Basically, you can save if you press up in front of it. Like a so. Construction ongoing. We are busy repairing the structural collapse of the ruins. Danger. Do not enter. Chief of Construction Samarenta. Screw you, Samarenta. I do what I want. Except when I can't. Entrance to Lamelana Ruins. P.S. Watch your step. Split gate. 
similar to the candy bent are of Bali Island, but decorated differently. It's thought to have been built in tribute to the creator of the Long Island Ruins, but these claims are unverified. There are also tales that people emerged from here once, but these claims too are unverified. Dictionary, the Mural Departure. A mural thought to be depicting the history of Lama Lana ruins, though these claims are verified. The ruins to the gate on the right are known as the Gate of Guidance. Do, 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 do. That there's the ruined Lama Lana. Back in the day, your dad explored and well destroyed the place. Reconstruction is ongoing, but keep going down and you'll get to the mausoleum of the giants where the monsters have been spotted. Don't go anywhere weird and you should be fine. God damn it, I said to investigate the place, not to jack it all up. I'm trying to tourist the place up, you know. Uh, why is it running so badly? This is Lamulana. Gate, gate of Guidance. This area around the entrance of the ruins is known as the Gate of Guidance. The ruins are split into sections. <laughs> Such as this one, and it has been d determined that these sections were created and inhabited by different races. Unbelievable. Depths of the ruins are pitch black. They were once lit by undying flames, but these flames winked out when the ruins collapsed. Warning, there are bats in the ruins, so we'd appreciate it if you killed them for us. Computer so shit that it can't run a game like this. This is pathetic. There are many treasure chests hidden throughout the ruins. You'll need to undo the mechanism locking them. For example, this chest could be unlocked by placing a weight on the pedestal below. Shellhorn! You get the shellhorn? I mean, it's one of the artifacts on display in the ruins, so... Whatever, I'm such a gentleman and I'll give it to you anyway. The shellhorn lets you know once you solve one of the ruin mysteries with this sound. It sounds kind of like, Mystery solved! Get stuck in a trap and it makes it sound like, That's a trap! First children, reconstructed based on surviving records and recovered fossils. A race with snake-like lower bodies thought to have resembled the mother more closely than any other. Many aspects of the race are a mystery as there are few records of them. Reconstruction of this race known as giants. This race, which is said to have constructed nearly the entirety of La Milana, is relatively well documented, allowing for detailed reconstruction down to the accessories they wore. There are many statues in praise of the giants, but it's unclear how giant they actually were. The third children. Reconstruction based on surviving records and recovered fossils. This phrase had bird-like wings protruding from their back. Analysis of their remains suggests a drastically different phys physical makeup from modern man, including slender bodies tuned for flight and longer limbs. They are distinguished by their long, backwards-arcing crest that stem from their heads. 
<laughs> and not their wings. The fourth children, reconstructed based on surviving records and recovered fossil records. <laughs> records note they had fish bodies, but whether that means they were fish bodied or humans with fish like features is unclear. Their recorded history is remarkably sparse, suggesting they were not significantly intelligent. The fifth children. Reconstructed based on some yada yada yada. They had a body structure that closely resembled model men, which suge evidence suggesting they were of shorter stature. Records detail that they were established by some means of creating like itself, pointing towards extreme intelligence. They created the six children. Six children, spawned by the fifth children's life creating devices, the tree of life. They were born by imbuing clay bodies with life. Their vast numbers splintered into warring factions. All analysis suggests they were almost physically indistinguishable from a modern man. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you are patron of the eighth. Curvy Furman. We are busy repairing the structure of the do not enter, yada yada yada. Face mural. Bears are strictly resemblance to the colossal Olmec head, head of the La Vanta ruins in Mexico. Cases often have coins or weaponry inside. Some vases, such as the one above, are at a meter reach. Perhaps there are ancient forerunners who could jump their way up. Yeah, yeah, I'll make head. Ancient Mayan airship? There's a striking resemblance to Olmec air artifacts in Mexico. Looks like a decorated flute and a man riding an airship. Mechanical God. Hmm. I remember you. I killed you. Ruins of a labyrinth. The room on the left, for example, cannot be reached by conventional, conventionally by human means. Unless that human is capable of jumping incredible distances. Warning, do not attempt to jump unless you are absolutely certain you can. Only a certified ninja or archaeologist can make that jump. Sorry, but the shop's not open yet. I'm thinking of opening. 
opening up once things calm down a bit. If you're inspecting the ruins, I'll give you a helpful tip. You see that treasure chest outside my shop? It can be opened by hitting it from below. There's helpful stuff inside. It's very helpful of you, sir. Thank you. Hitting it from below. Holy Grail. Ooh. <laughs> You open the treasure to the Holy Grail? Hmm, it's a precious display item, you know. But it's necessary for the investigation, so what are you gonna do, huh? I'm a pretty laid-back guy, huh? If you have the Holy Grail, you can warp places. It's awesome. You know the Holy Grail tabling in my castle? The thing lo used for safe. You can use it to warp the where those are located. It's basically a special item that you can use to come out and hang, come and hang out with me. Some definite improvements, like being able to, um, grab onto a ladder in midair. With an audible clapping sound, I like that. Oof. Pathway under construction following the collapse of the ruins, which I had nothing to do with, by the way. Feel free to crawl under the rubble and climb on the girders. to believe there's no fix for this. Other than, you know, getting a good computer. Mausoleum of the Giants ahead. This section of the ruins contains Mausoleum into the race of into the giant race. The second children. The extensive damage in the Mausoleum of the Giants is still under repair. Please watch your step. It's ridiculously hard. And I believe there's one coming up very soon. Although a mini boss might be more accurate. Likes to break his stuff. The Nebra Sky Disc. An astrono astronomic mural with carving of the sun, moon, and stars. It can be inferred that the forerunners who lived in Lava Ladder Ruins had a first-hand grasp of astronomy. The mural contains records of successful communication between the forerunners and the extra and extraterrestrials. Lies, I say.
Yay, wait. Ah. Ah. It's only one coin, but still. Curse tablet. Oof. No, 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 no. It's the hard mode tablet from the first game. I shan't be reading that one. Zebu statue. Led the nine giant siblings, Zebu was the was is the eldest brother said to have attempted to maintain peace between his siblings throughout the conflict. That this may be why he is immortalized as a figure holding up the earth. there. Hmm. Why is that one glowing? Na Nazca Lines. A mural of, of a series of ancient geoglyphs located in the Nazca Desert of Peru. This mural resembles one of those geoglyphs thought to be a depiction of a hand. Warning, repairs have not been complete beyond this point. In the interest of safety, please record your journey here before moving on. This doesn't look a thing like the other one. Oh well, anyway, I am the Blues 32. This is La Mulana 2. TTFN, ta-ta for now.